need your help getting this video and all our videos out to other people. How you can do that is by sharing this video um, with other people that you know where it could do them some good and by liking the video and also by commenting or becoming a subscriber. What this does for us is it um, shows YouTube that we are building up enough people that they will promote us more. The more we have, the more they promote. So this is a great way for you guys to get involved and help spread the word of God at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. And again, thank you for your support. This is Tom Nolan with Happy Trails Farm. Enjoy your day. God bless. Good morning, everyone. This is Tom Nolan from Happy Trails Farm. Hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, the weather out here in Arizona has been beautiful lately. We're very blessed and uh, we're thankful for that. One of the questions I have for you, um, do we make enough time for God? Is God the center of our lives or is he an afterthought? When things are getting rough and we get in trouble, then is that the only time we think of God? What it says in the Bible is that we need to make God the center of our lives. We need to be constantly immerse ourselves in prayer and supplication. What uh, we need to do is spend more time with the Lord. But the devil is always pulling at us, trying to get us not to pray or spend time in the Bible, reading God's Word. Because he knows that will give us strength. And the devil wants to keep us weak. Now, we have plenty of time to watch countless hours of TV or play on video games or do other distractions that are not of God. But we have no time for God. We need to pray more, pray harder, pray in earnest, pray without ceasing, it says in the Bible. We need to pour out our hearts to God. God does love us very much, and he wants to hear about everything that's going on. Not just, oh, the kids were brats today. Yes, he does want to hear about that, and he does want to help us with our problems, our cares, and our worries. He says to give them to him, and he will care for them. But he also wants to hear the deep thoughts, the deep concerns that are on your heart. And those are the things that he is looking for you to give to him. If you're struggling with a, a major problem, if you're concerned about the direction your marriage is going or how your job is performing, your boss is getting on you and you, you really don't know what to do, these are the things that God really wants to hear because he can do something about that. God wants, to, wants us to come to him. He is called the great comforter. Whenever we are feeling low, that is when he is the closest. Now, there's a really good parable in the Matthew 13 that I would like to read to you guys. Jesus uh, is explaining some of this to us in parable form. It said, um, Behold, a sower went out to sow. This is the parable of the sower. And as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun came up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. 
while others fell on good ground and yield a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. He who have ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came to him and asked, what does, Why do you speak in parables? And they did not understand the parables, so he asked for them to clarify it for them. God said he speaks in parables because we cannot hear the word of the Lord. It's not so that we can understand it. We need to be taught it in uh, an easy format that we can actually understand. It is very spiritual in nature, and if we were just to read it, we would not comprehend it. So he told it in story form to make it easier to understand. Said, so he said, so he's explaining the parable to the disciples, and he said in verse 18, Therefore hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of, of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches it away when what was sown in his heart. This is he who receives seed by the wayside. But he who received the seed on stony places, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no roof root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Now he who received seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and cares of the world. And the deceitfulness of riches chokes the word, and he becomes unfruitful. But he who receives seed on, on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Now, what the Lord is trying to say is we need to not just read his word, we need to be doers of his word. We need to go out and spread his word to all the people. That's why it says, be in the, in the gospel, be disciples among my people. Go and spread the word. That is what we are actually called here to do on this planet. We need to be more diligent in our prayer. We need to always put God first. We need to start our day out with God. Um, even if it's just a uh, reading through some Bible verses or reading some devotionals, um, there is always time for God. We're sitting down drinking our coffee in the morning. Perfect time. When it's nice and quiet, there's no disturbances, you need to uh, put God first in everything that you do. If you have a difficult decision to make, ask God. If you don't know how to proceed with a uh, certain task or something, ask God. God is not only our, our teacher, our physician, our comforter, He is our everything. There is nothing that God cannot do. All we have to do is ask him. He will give us knowledge and wisdom. Look at uh, Solomon. He was given more knowledge and wisdom than any person on the planet. Look at the amazing things that he was able to accomplish. He, God came to Solomon and said, I wish to bless you. What do you, what do you want? Anything you can, you name it, it's yours. Wishing for fame and riches. He wished for wisdom and knowledge so that he could be a good leader of his people. God said, this I will give to you. And I will also give you fame and wisdom go along with it. Now Solomon 
started out as a person after his own heart, but then uh, he got distracted by the, his many wives that he married. We were told Solomon's downfall was that he married into women of mixed religions of that period, and they insisted that uh, he build them temples and that uh, they would dissuade him from doing what was for God and doing what was for their deities instead. This is where Solomon came to an end. He, he uh, drifted away from God. He was warned not to uh, marry into women of that period because they would do that, but he did not listen. So in closing, we are known by our fruits. That means that uh, <clears throat> we need to be like a good tree bearing fruit, sending out word and encouraging people and motivating people, getting people to be closer to God. Because without God, we have nothing. Everything is given to us through God, God's mercies and God's grace. And we need to be constantly thankful for that and thank him for everything that he gives us. We had uh, our son got an A on, a, on his test. Thank God for that. Because God's hand was on him when he was taking that test. And he helped him with knowledge and wisdom to uh, know the right answers. Now, Lord, we uh, need to pray more. So I'm going to end this with a prayer. Lord, thank you for the time that you give us and help us to manage that time more effectively so that we can constantly start our day out with you instead of the stress and the chaos that the devil would rather us have. Start our days out with peace and help us to hold on to that peace and joy that you can only give us throughout the whole day. Bless everything that we do, Lord. Bless our many subscribers and all the people watching this video. Help them to uh, come to you and help them to run to you with all their problems. Because they know if they come to you that you will take care of them all. Joy and peace is what you will give in return. Lord, thank you for this. Thank you for uh, helping us with, produce all these wonderful videos. And uh, thank you, f most importantly, for your love. In Jesus' name, amen.